What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see, and these in times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had that strong, close, and personal relationship with God, good, great, awesome. So real quick, you know, we do the background, the prior words, and then the events or event. So with this video here, back in February, February 15th to be exact, the Lord was speaking to me about a lot of different disasters naturally that would happen. Um, you know, we know that these times will come, but it's just... All right, God always reveals to us what's coming before he actually does it, just so we can get a heads up and follow instructions, just in case we need to get out the way. But yeah, this one was about earthquakes, and there's just been a multitude of big earthquakes over the 2023 time span from like winterish to now. So yeah, um, you know, Morocco had one, and just updating and adding to the collection of the word that God gave, okay? Just being obedient and updating and showing y'all, all right? So now I'm gonna take you to the prior word and then to the events, okay? Peace and blessings and I'll catch you all in the next one. So then I see angels with their swords upside down. So you know, the sharp points facing upwards and the, the handles at the bottom. And these angels are like hitting the land with the bottom of these swords. And I see like this energy wave radiate as they continue to hit the land and the earth just starts shaking. Like it in that vision, y'all, it was shaking, shaking and essentially just signifying like a earthquake. The Lord says more earthquakes are coming. Repent now. So he was saying he was showing me more and saying just, you know, small little statements. have breaking news into the Fox Weather Center. It's a magnitude 6.3 earthquake that just rocked parts of Hittay, Turkey. This on the border of Syria and Turkey, unfortunately the same exact area that was just hit two weeks ago by that devastating 7.8 magnitude quake, followed immediately by a 7.5 magnitude aftershock, leading to more than 46,000 deaths in the area. Of course, when we learn more information, we will certainly bring that to you live. Tonight, Haiti reeling from twin disasters. A 4.9 magnitude earthquake rocked the island nation while residents were cleaning up from catastrophic flooding. The quake shaking Western Haiti, collapsing buildings along the coast and turning homes to rubble. A magnitude 6.3 earthquake was recorded in Calatagan, Batangas early Thursday morning, which was felt in Metro Manila and other parts of Luzon. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOX, said the tectonic tremor occurred at around 10.19 a.m., 15 kilometers southwest of the said town. Residents in several areas reported a strong felt intensity. These are the residents of Manila, Mandaluyong, Quezon City, Valenzuela, and Malolos in Bulacan. Good evening. It happened late at night when most people were asleep. There was no warning. And it was absolutely horrific in its power. This is the moment a 6.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Morocco. You can see people fleeing into an alley only for debris to then start tumbling down. The quake was centered here, just south of the popular tourist destination of Marrakesh. The death toll already stands at over 2,000 people. And as we get new images in of the destruction, it's clear that number is only going to rise. Now, it is a race against time to save those trapped in the buildings and try to get to the hardest hit areas that are cut off from the rest of the country. Many, including American tourists, now sleeping outside, fearing more aftershocks. The State Department late today confirming some Americans were injured. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Matt Bradley. Security footage showing the rumbling, the shaking, and then the screaming as a 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck Morocco. 
Moroccans are now struggling to reach survivors thought to be buried beneath rubble. It's the most powerful tremor to hit Morocco in more than a hundred years. <laughs> Suddenly we saw things falling from above, like dishes and other things that were fixed to the wall. We were unable to sit or stand. Then we fled outside, said this resident. Really, the earthquake was very strong. Moroccan military reporting more than 2,000 people killed, another 2,000 injured. The numbers have been climbing all day and they will probably continue to grow as first responders pull more bodies from ruined homes. We ran outside, but a wall fell on my head, said this man. Sky News' is Adam Parsons is on the ground in Morocco. There is still real fear about what could happen. Here's a very good example of that nervousness. This restaurant behind me was badly damaged by the earthquake uh, on Friday night, but it only actually collapsed hours and hours later. The quake struck in the high Atlas Mountains shortly before midnight. This security camera video of the first tremors shows people fleeing cafes in panic and barely escaping falling debris. We went to sleep, but after a few seconds, we felt the earthquake and we went out of the house, this man said. After that, the entire house was destroyed. The epicenter was about 50 miles from the historic city of Marrakesh. Its beloved Medina, or old city of labyrinthine alleyways, now partly damaged. So parts of the Medina are fine. Other parts you can see behind me are not so fine. The older buildings um, that are less structurally sound have suffered the most. And Jose, we might not even know the full extent of the damage yet. Rescue workers are struggling to reach some of those remote villages in the Atlas Mountains near the epicenter. That's where they're expecting to find some of the worst.